Hi, this is a conversation with Clinton Lopez, who is the deputy director of the economic newsletter called UFM Market Trends. Clinton, why is the UFM Market Trends newsletter different from others? UFM Market Trends uh, emphasize uh, the research in different areas that traditional economic point of view doesn't follow up. For example, in banking system, uh, we follow up uh, the quality of credits that a normal economic point of view do not uh, pay attention to that. Um, usually they put attention, pay attention only to quantity of credits in the system, but not the quality of them. And uh, that is something that is very important for uh, economic and for, uh, for the global economy too. And I think that's uh, the, the most important difference between UFM market trends and other uh, newsletter, economic newsletters. Why is it that indicators such as the quality of credits are not taken on account by other observatories or newsletters? Usually because of the legislation of the most important countries in the world. And uh, you find that uh, the governments through central banks usually take advantage of um, that kind of legislation that uh, try to, to bail the importance of that uh, kind of things. Because uh, if you read the, the, the report, you're going to see that um, governments take advantage of how manage you the belief of people, the belief of people on money and credit. And then that's why traditional economic point of view doesn't take that into account. Uh, they prefer to go with uh, traditional wisdom and uh, that could be dangerous in the market system. Who is the target for the newsletter? Well, I could tell you that uh, probably is for everybody, but especially for uh, uh, entrepreneurial people, uh, people who is investing on any kind of investing. I mean, it could be uh, money market investment, could be uh, commodity investments, uh, could be a stock market investment, uh, could be anybody, because you have to know in what part of the business cycle you are, because you have to know when you get into an investment, how long to stay there, and when to get out if you don't want to lose money. Is that why business cycles are important? Well, uh, I could tell you that yes. I mean, in general, yes, because, I mean, government intervention uh, could be really dangerous. And if you're not aware where the economic is going, you can lose everything. Then I, I could tell you that uh, to follow up the business cycle is really important. Then you, you will know when not invest and when you have to invest if you want to make money. I mean, you are free to lose money too if you want it. <laughs> can you tell us something about the team? The team is an international team. We have a very uh, diverse a team because we are not trying to focus only in one country, only in one region. We're trying to follow up the global economy. Then we have to have the most or the broadest view of the economic, uh, the economic, the global economy. Then we have people in Europe, we have people in the United States, and we have people in Latin America. We are following up uh, China, United States, Europe, and Japan. And after that, we're going to, very soon, to follow up Guatemala and Spain. What are the products of the newsletter? What do I find if well, I follow up the you, newsletter? You can find, for example, I mean, traditional measures of the economy, like uh, GDP, unemployment, interest rates. But you can find something different. We have created our own indicators that follow up <laughs> the, the different things that other new layers doesn't follow up. Uh, if you read the, the first uh, uh, report, you're going to find that these uh, indicators are really, we are trying to do it uh, really sophisticated that uh, in order that they give us important information regarding the, how the economic business cycle is going. And um, usually, you're not going to find that wisdom in other newsletters. Then I think it's going to be uh, something great for investors. What is the theoretical framework of the newsletter? 
Okay, I could tell you that the theoretical framework of the UFM market trends is very eclectic. Uh, we are um, using a modified version of the Austrian trade cycle uh, with the degradation of liquidity theory created by the bankers in uh, 19th century in, in England. And um, it's very eclectic and we are creating some new things that is absolutely new. Finally, in 30 seconds, can you explain us why should someone be interested in the newsletter? Well, I mean, uh, as I told you before in this interview is um, if you don't want to lose money and if you want to make a profit investing or knowing when to buy something, you have to follow up this. And if you want to take care of your money too. Clinton, thank you for these ideas and this experience and thank you too.